Hey everyone. <clears throat> Just wanted to kind of make a quick video on what I did to my CPU, my PC, my Windows to get kind of like the performance that I'm getting in this game. Um, quick disclaimer before we start, of course, um, I would suggest that anyone take um, every single bit of advice that I give in this video because frankly a lot of my tweaks and adjustments uh, break a lot of core things that some people might want to do with the computer. For example, I have Windows security completely disabled. Um, my PC is just optimized to only play video games and video games alone, so um, if you are the target audience for that, then this video is perfect for you. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So first things first, let's hop in the range. Um, before I do any kind of tweaks or anything, I like to have kind of a consistent benchmark and in Valorant the range is the easiest way to do this so first thing I do is just stare at the wall when you get in the range and here I'm getting about 1500 um, frames and off stream without recording um, the highest I've been able to get it is at 1600 so this is kind of the benchmark that we have let me know if you can uh, beat this number but yeah let's hop into my settings real quick so for Valorant I run everything on all low um, everything off and everything all low except multi-thread rendering because uh, multi-thread rendering does benefit FPS a lot in Valorant. Um, in my general settings, I actually have reflex low latency off. I found that low latency doesn't actually help my combination. Um, if you don't know, I have a 9800X3D, um, which just came out like, I think last month. And for now, it's the fastest CPU on the market. So I'll be sticking with it for a while. And my GPU is a 4070 Super, and I found that with this combination, low latency off has given me the best performance. Um, you'll probably have to test this yourself. Um, for display mode, I have windowed full screen because I get annoyed when I have to wait for the alt tab when I use full screen. So I guess kind of for recording purposes, for productivity purposes, I just have this on windowed full screen. Um, everything else is pretty standard. And for a more realistic test, let's just bring the practice bots on. And so kind of here, like in a more realistic scenario, I get about 900. Um, and those are my Valorant settings. Let's hop into the Windows tweaks. So for my Windows installation, um, quickly pull it up. So um, I'm currently on version 24H2, which is um, apparently the best performing Windows build for AMD chips right now. Um, it's faster than Windows 10, faster than 23H2 because um, there's some bugs um, with, I think, the scheduling um, that was fixed. So I'm currently on Windows 24H2. Um, and if you notice, I have a very debloated version of, it, uh, of Windows. Like as I said before, this... <laughs> This PC is only optimized for video games and nothing else. So um, I, I have all of Windows bloatware removed. Um, and if you go to my control panel, you can see that um, a lot of Windows features are just completely like not available. Um, and a lot of things aren't reversible. So um, the way I did it was MTT has a GitHub with a Windows unintended file. And if you want to know exactly how to install Windows with this unattended file. He has a really nice video um, that I'll link below and I won't waste your time in this video, but since he made um, kind of a masterclass already on his YouTube, so I'll link that below. And and if you look on the GitHub, basically um, it gets rid of things like Windows Defender, Windows Security, um, and in general, just a ton of blower that Windows comes with. And I found that using a unattended Windows install gives a pretty big boost in FPS because um, if you see my task manager, it's very low. I have 32 gigs of RAM and um, before before kind of using um, an unattended Windows install, uh, my memory would be pretty much just 20% just off having Windows on its own. But with everything disabled, um, when I start up my Windows, this number can be as low as, as like 9%, 8%. Um, on Windows 10, I was able to get it like 6%, but I think Windows 11 has um, a lot of heavier stuff like secure boot and such. So um, this is as low as I've been able to get it um, on Windows 11, but this is already a lot better than stock Windows. So I'd really suggest looking up how to do an uh, unintended Windows install with the link that I'll link below. Um, for Windows settings, uh, I'm a psychopath. So if you see Windows update, um, I have this disabled. This is also, uh, MTT goes over it in his video um, for how to disable all of this, but 
yeah, I'm a psychopath. So a lot of the Windows basic things I have disabled. So Windows updates disabled, security, um, all of this is disabled. Um, if you go into security, you'll see that there, the, there's just no virus and threat protection at all. And this in general just gets rid of a lot of Windows background processes that I didn't like at all. Um, now onto just general Windows settings. The first one I'd recommend, um, a lot of YouTubers have talked about this already, but you want core isolation off. Um, I have everything off checked here um, because in general memory integrity is, um, I think most people have after benchmark have shown that turning this off does increase frames um, by a bit. So I have this off. Um, the other thing is, uh, let me go back. The other thing is, uh, in my gaming, I have game bar off, of course, um, game mode on. And the other thing that I'll touch on is in advanced display, I have, uh, or not advanced display now, I think it's in graphics. Yeah, I have hags turned on. Um, and I also have Windows games um, optimizations turned on for all my games. Um, this helps with Windows, uh, Windows borderless, which um, pretty much I play all my games on now for faster alt tabbing, but I have both of these turned on. Um, that's pretty much it for Windows settings. One more thing, actually, something else I did was um, in services, I have a lot of these disabled, so I won't waste your time kind of um, explaining everything, but here, I'll just scroll quickly through um, and you can just see anything in the startup type that's disabled. Um, I went out of my way to disable it. Let me see if I can sort it. Yeah, so everything here is disabled. Um, so kind of you can just copy everything I have here. Um, once again, disclaim, disclaimer, a lot of this breaks a lot of things. So for example, like Hyper-V, um, I think this for virtualization, I have all of this disabled. Um, and that's just in general to free up a lot of background processes that I don't need. Um, this is kind of just a short video, so I'll just give a entire list of every single Windows service that I've disabled. So you'll see stuff like Windows Backup, Windows Search, like pretty much anything Windows related that isn't necessary for running um, gaming applications I have disabled. Um, BitLocker, for example. Um, so here's kind of just a master list if you want to copy it. Um, again, I do recommend you do research on all of these services before disabling in case you accidentally um, get or something that you actually might need. So, in terms of window, window settings, I think that's it. I guess the remaining optimizations to go over are CPU and GPU. Um, for CPU, for my 9800X3D, I only made a couple tweaks in the BIOS. So first thing I did was enable AMD Expo. If you're on AMD, it's called AMD, uh, it's called Intel uh, XMP. But basically, if you bought RAM that's DDR5, that's um, advertised to be higher than 4800 mega transfers per second in the speed, um, you have to go in the BIOS to enable it. So if your RAM is running slower than you um, expect, um, it might be because you didn't enable it in the BIOS. Um, so that's the first thing I did. Uh, I have 6000 mega transfers per second, and my Infinity Fabric for my 900XDD is running at 2000. Um, M hertz. So um, I found after doing some research, I found that that's the best um, combination for lowest memory latency for uh, for my CPU. So I'd suggest doing research on your own CPU to see what the best um, combination for RAM in your CPU is. I, I know for Intel, it's the higher speed, RAM speed, the better. For AMD, it's not exactly the same. Uh, like for example, 6,000 mega transfers on AMD could perform better than 7,000. Um, because of infinity fabric clocks. Um, aside from that, the only other thing I did was um, I uh, I enabled X3D turbo mode, which just disables SMT, which is um, when you have multiple uh, threads in a single core. Um, so for this, you can see I have eight cores, eight threads. It should be eight and 16, but I disabled the other eight since this does um, kind of increase gaming performance at the cost of productivity. Um, on Intel, I think it's called, uh, hyper threading, but, uh, I'd suggest looking to see if you can disable this, if you really care about gaming and nothing else, um, this will give you a few more frames, um, but it will cost you a lot of, um, productivity like Photoshop. If you want to do that kind of stuff, um, I would suggest you not disable it, but these are the tweaks I did. Um, if you're playing games like 
for me. Um, my main games are competitive shooters like Valorant, Fortnite. So for me, CPU is what matters the most. Um, that's why I decided to get a 4070 Super when I built this um, PC like a couple weeks ago. Um, if you're kind of into the AAA game scene, then I definitely suggest to just um, upgrade your GPU over CPU. But since for me, CPU is the bottleneck, um, my settings here are optimized with CPU in mind uh, for my 4070 Super control panel settings. So in my 3D settings, um, I won't go over all of these to keep the video short. Um, if you want to copy what works for me, um, these are the settings that I used. Um, something that I will bring up though, um, third optimization is better for games like Valorant where CPU is the bottleneck. Um, if your GPU is bottlenecking you, then I'd suggest try turning this on. But for me, my CPU is the bottleneck um, since I play Olo and it's Valorant. Uh, so I have threaded optimization off. Um, and that's pretty much it with the NVIDIA control panel settings. Um, of course, make sure to set it to this option here. Um, and I have a ULMB monitor, so I have G-Sync off. But if you do um, have a G-Sync monitor, without ULMB, then you should definitely um, check this and turn it on. Um, but other than that, I think that's all the optimizations I have. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. For example, like how to do any of this, if you want me to go into more detail, the links I provide below aren't necessarily uh, good enough, then let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching.